and a top focus on news point this morning. India's Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft is all set for a scheduled landing on August 23rd. And with this, it will aim to become the fourth nation to achieve this very milestone. In the latest, ISRO's Chandrayaan-3 has completed the orbit circularization and this maneuver marks a pivotal step towards the mission's ultimate goal, which is the soft landing on the lunar surface. Let's tell you more about this. Now, ISRO's Chandrayaan-3 has emerged as a series of orbit maneuvers which constantly is moving towards the moon that is reducing its distance from the moon. Well, and Chandrayaan's uh, fourth orbit circularization is helping move the, uh, move the spacecraft engine in a way, making its path more rounder and circular. Meanwhile, critical maneuver also aims to lower its orbit, the lower the craft, to 100 kilometers above the moon's surface and which will only act as a pivotal step in Chandrayaan-3's ultimate goal, which is a soft landing on the lunar surface. Let's also now tell you what is expected to happen next after the orbit circularization which has just been completed. Well, the spacecraft will now transition to the next phase of Chandrayaan-3 mission and that is the separation of the lander from the propulsion module which is what will happen next. The, pro the propulsion module will continue its orbit around the moon. Meanwhile, the lander will undergo a deboost process. Now, the deboost process involves a series of intricate braking maneuvers. And the maneuvers of Chandrayaan-3 are designed to gradually slow down the lander and position it for soft landing on the moon's surface. Now, the latest mission comes four years after Chandrayaan-2, which had failed to achieve the desired soft landing in the year 2019. Let's now tell you as to why Chandrayaan-2 mission failed. Now, Chandrayaan-2 mission failed its objectives after the, the, the lander ceased communication with the ground stations. Now, the lander crashed when it deviated from its intended trajectory while attempting to land. And the former ISRO chief, K. Sivan, listed three factors for this very failure, which are number one, engines of the lander generated high thrust, number two, limitation in finding errors, and number three, small landing site. These were some of the factors which the former ISRO chief stated for the failed Chandrayaan-2 mission. Well, for more on this, we're now being joined by senior correspondent, uh, Siddharth MP will be joining us in a short while uh, from Chennai. But let's also now tell you, uh, we are tracking uh, Chandrayaan 3's orbit circularization mission. And uh, before that, we also spoke about how Chandrayaan 2 mission failed its objectives after the lander ceased communication with the ground stations. Well, the latest mission comes four years after Chandrayaan 2, which had failed to achieve the desired soft landing in 2019. And for more on the latest Chandrayaan-3 mission, we have with us our senior correspondent, Siddharth MP, who's joining us on the phone line from Chennai. Hi, Siddharth. A very good morning to you. Now, it is a major milestone today for ISRO after it completed its orbit circularization phase. Uh, talk to us about what can be expected next from the Chandrayaan-3 uh, mission. Good morning, Rahesha. So, the orbit circularization phase, is the final of the moon-bound maneuvers or orbit reductions that the craft has to carry out. So, in fact, when we speak about craft, this is the integrated Chandrayaan spacecraft we're talking about because this is a 3.9-ton uh, spacecraft, of course, which comprises the propulsion module and the lander module. So, this will be the last maneuver that the integrated craft will complete. Hereafter, the next milestone that we're looking forward to is tomorrow, 17th August. So, on 17th August, what is expected is that the craft will break away into two parts. One is the propulsion module. The propulsion module is essentially what got the craft so far from Earth orbit to Moon orbit. It was the propulsion module that uh, steered Chandrayaan-3 all this way to the Moon. So propulsion module and the lander module will break apart tomorrow. It will separate into two parts. Propulsion module will continue to circle the Moon in the current orbit, which is 153 by 163 kilometers. And thereafter, the lander module, which is meant to perform the landing on the Moon's surface, that, that is known as Vikram as far as Israel is concerned. Vikram lander will thereafter proceed towards the moon's surface. It will go further away from the propulsion module and head towards the lunar surface in preparation for a lunar landing. So this is the next milestone that is expected as far as this mission is concerned. And that is expected tomorrow, August 17th. 
And of course, in the interim, there'll be a lot of tests that will be conducted in orbit of the sensors of the engines, all of which will facilitate lunar landing at a later date. Rathadad, thank you so much for joining us on Vyond Sharing Insights with us. We'll of course be tracking Chandrayaan 3 mission very closely here on Vyond. But thanks very much for joining us. Yeah. LVM.